why do we keep finding ourselves on this uh this live stream and discussing the tumultuous times at bad boy records man what the fuck is going on it's almost like they giving out a stimulus package to the youtube community everybody getting some goddamn money only thing i know is there will be no christmas party the christmas party is canceled <laughs> Did it cancel Christmas? The Christmas party has been officially canceled. Let's get off into this. Um, I met Harv Pierre before. I got a picture with him somewhere. I met him at the, the Revo convention. Yeah. Cool dude, man. Cool dude. I liked it in this shit. Could you tell us some things about Harv Pierre? I mean, you know, back in the book, remember in the book, I talked about how Harv believed in me even when Puff didn't. So, you know, mm. that an example of who he was, like who he is, not was, but a good dude, you know what I mean? Um, truthful. You know, truthful. He's like a reason. He, he, uh, uh, if you, if you, of uh, everyone at Bad Boy, Hob might be one of my favorites. Okay. Behind the way that he treated my career, how he believed in me. I need you to speak up just a little bit. Um, yeah. Just for those people who just tuning in, we discussing Harv Pierre. Um, Harv Pierre was a former hip hop artist, wasn't he, Mark? Uh, Joe Hooker. That's Joe Hooker. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 Joe he, Hooker. He, he used to do all the hooks. Sound like Steve. For those who don't know who um, Harv Pierre is, that's he did a song with Black Rob. The hook was like, "I dare you to come, come against me." me. Right. Yeah. I liked it that joint. Yeah, yeah. He had another one too. You don't want to play around. You don't want to play around with me. Oh, <laughs> I'll kill you. Hey yo, them joints yeah. is all right, man. Why didn't uh why didn't he continue to put out music, man? Yeah. I remember I remember when Puff used to tell like when you used to go to the studio with her because he was the A and R. So whenever you go in, he'd be like, I do the hook. Whenever he used to do the hook, Puff didn't like it. He was like, yo, he used to say, um, he used to call him Sting. <laughs> he used to be like, Sting. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he he get in there, get on the hook, get his Joe Hooker on. You know, that's how Joe Hooker, he's the hook. Joe Hooker. Okay. You know? He's been um he's been hit with some with some documents. Former, according to Rolling Stone, former bad boy president and a label sued for sexual assault and negligence. How does that work out where they give it like a, a split lawsuit? They hold the, the label accountable for something that was done by an individual. Is um, that no, because probably, of the title? Probably, probably because, um, probably like an umbrella type of thing. It's almost like if you worked at uh, Chevrolet with an employee and then, you know, if you and an employee worked at Chevrolet and then something happened between you and this person while y'all working at Chevrolet, I think Chevrolet gonna be pretty much responsible for what's going on. Even, even I don't know, sometimes life carries on after, even behind the, the, the when you go out the business doors, life still goes on, you know what I'm it's about a walk of life. You got to watch your walk of life in every step. You know, when you become famous like that, it ain't really, you know, everything is scrutinized. Why do you think all of this shit is happening now? It's starting to take on a snowball effect. This happens, this comes one less than a week after Sean yeah. Diddy Combs was accused of rape and sex trafficking by R&B singer Cassie. One yeah. week. It's that time. It's that time of the year. It's just that time. You know what I mean? And 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 it's that time. And and we are not the ones that can determine the right time or the wrong time. Right now is just the time. Like that's just the time it's gonna be. Right. You know, it's gonna be hard to 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 get from up under that cloud. You can't pay to get from under the cloud because it's gonna always keep coming back no matter what. Until right. you just gotta live up to it. You gotta man up to what's going on right now. Puff got to man further into the lawsuit. Harv Pierre. Mm -hmm. The former president of Bad Boy, who met Diddy when they were students together at Howard University, Howard University, is accused of preying on the Jane Doe plaintiffs, plaintiff on multiple occasions in New York City and other locations throughout the country. The complaint filed in New York City, New York County Supreme Court, and obtained by Rolling Stone reads. 
Pierre used his position of authority as the plaintiff's boss to groom, exploit, and sexually assault her, the filing alleges. Pierre engaged in a year-long pattern of grooming the plaintiff, leading to sexual harassment of the plaintiff and sexual assault. The anonymous has been filed under Jane Doe. The anonymous assistant alleges Pierre sexually assaulted her on multiple occasions from 2016 to 2017. And as a result, she suffered physical, emotional, and psychological injuries along with pain and suffering. The woman is asking for damages that will fully and fairly compensate her. Pierre did not immediately re reply to re to a request for a comment. The lawsuit also names Bad Boy Entertainment, Bad Boy Records, and Combs Enterprises as co-defendants, accusing the companies of negligence and gender violence. Defendants what is gender violence? Huh? Gender violence. Gender violence. Uh, sounds like rape. Gender violence. <laughs> gender violence sounds like a form of rape to me. Um, they got new words for all of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, they got a charge for your ass. I was told that they got a charge for almost anything that you could imagine. Anyway, the the defendants knew or should have known that Pierre was unfit to be in a position of authority before Pierre sexually assaulted the plaintiff. The lawsuit states it claims the companies failed to properly supervise Pierre, especially considering his access to the individuals like the plaintiff. Mm -hmm. A bad boy spokesperson tells Rolling Stone, we have recently become aware of a lawsuit filed in New York by a former employee. The allegations are from many years ago that were never brought to the attention of the company. Neither the plaintiff nor the executive are current employees of the company. They distancing themselves from him already. Right. We are now investing investigating the allegations and our top priority is the safety and well-being of our employees. Who, 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 hold on. Hard, who, I didn't know that Pierre wasn't with Bad Boy anymore. Who's with the who's doing the investigation? Um New York New York County. It was filed in New York County. Oh, I thought you I thought the company was doing the investigation. It sounded like you were saying the company Bad Boy was doing the investigation. See nah, like uh she she's ba she's basically saying that they're they they're liable for having someone like him as an employee. Um, we well, are now investigating allegations, and our top priority is the safety and well being of our employees. Is that the uh, sentence that she was talking about? Yeah 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 yeah. Our employees sound like a, a bad boy internal investigation. But then how could ain't they kind of busy? How they gonna find time to do this? They they are they tied up. They has they have Hold on. and they ain't got no time for this. They're gonna have to hire some external help. Pierre started at Bad Boy in 1992, according to his LinkedIn profile, working his way up from an intern and Combs assistant to director level position before leaving the company in before leaving the company in 1995. Right. Pierre bitch. Eventually returned to become its president until December 2017. He now calls himself right. a partial owner of the company to help launch the careers of the notorious big Craig Mack, Mace, and who Faith. they talking about? Kurt Burroughs? That's what they. That's who they. That's who they're calling Harv Pierre. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying Kurt Burroughs. Partial owner. Yeah. Oh, partial. He, owner. he called himself partial Kurt owner. Burrow. He said he calls himself the partial owner. Y'all like this live stream. It looked like the uh, notifications is tumbling out. I see y'all still coming in. Like the live and share this to your social media platforms. Harv Pierre has been hit with a lawsuit less than a week after um, the Eddie settled one with, with Cassie. Check it out, though. The suit was filed as a consequence to the Ad Adult Survivors Act which allowed a one-year window for those in New York to bring civil lawsuits alleging sexual abuse, even if the statute of limitations have passed. It's set to expire on Friday, November 24, 2023. According to the Association, Associated Press, the legislation led to more than 2,500 lawsuits with 
Many, including Cassie, suit against Diddy, and Jane Doe suit against Russell Brand being filed in the final days leading up to the deadline. I think that's some information that people don't know, Mark. Yeah, that's what it is. But, you know, there's everybody... Been, um, there's been a, um, a, 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 a shit storm of lawsuits because of this, this statue. Right. You talking about... The Adult Survivors lawsuit. Act is called, huh? You talking about from the lawsuit that he got with Del, the Dimaggio the Delight? What's his name? They implying this is what I get out of this. The salt, the, the suit was filed as a consequence to the Adult Survivors Act, which allowed a one year window for those in New York to bring lawsuits alleging sexual abuse, even if the statute of limitations has passed. So if, if she had, they had a year. She had a year. Um, to, to, to file the suit November 20 it's, it's set to expire on, on um, Friday November 24th right. according to Associated Press this legislation led to more than 2,500 lawsuits you said they got L.A. Reid last week they got it L.A. Reid like, last week it sound like it's up for I don't know entertainers somebody right now somebody got touched Cassie, <laughs> real name Cassandra Ventura, also named Bad Boy in her suit as a co-defendant in a 35-page filing. She alleged that Combs began abusing her in 2005, which lasted until she released, left the relationship in 2018. The singer alleged that Combs was physically violent, often punched, beat, kicked, and stomped on her and forced her to have sex with male prostitutes, with Com which Combs allegedly filmed. Ventura also claimed that Combs blew up rapper Kid Cudi's car in 2012 after Combs believed Cudi was interested in the tour. Through a spokesperson, Kid Cudi corroborated her account. <laughs> Kid, yeah, Kid Cudi, she had that hot car. Hey, but you want to know what, Gully, this is what you got. This is one thing you pay attention to. They say Hard left in 2017, and the girl only worked at Bad Boy from 2016 to 2017. So that means she wasn't one of the employees that was there, like, from 2000 and 2008 and all of that. She was right. fairly new. And so being that he, you know, she was there from 2016 to 2017, um, if that was a lawsuit or something that she brought about in the office, that might be the reason why he wasn't working for Bad Boy. Um, but it's just crazy that it's 2017. He 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 um was his last year working, and then 2017 is the year that she's claiming that she was um these allegations. And then sometimes, you know, um, not saying that there's not any truth to it, but you know, sometimes we just gotta watch and see because you know there's a lot of females out there, there's a lot of guys out there that have ulterior motives. And we never know what their motives be. So, you know, that's why when you when you a celebrity or something like that, you kind of have to watch some of the people you around. <coughs> these kind of things happen. Like if you right. remember in the book, I told you that um, so the police knocked on the door one time I was at Puff Crib and they said that Puff, um, two girls that said that he, he raped them in the house and he wasn't even there. But they knew he, they was at his house. And the only thing they knew was Puff Daddy House. So it threw him all in the middle of something that he wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? And and then again, they have those, those, those that thing going on in New York where you can come out and, 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 and accuse people of these kind of things. I just don't know. Like from 2016 to 2017, was she an escort or something? Like how did she come right into the door getting sex with the rats? Like and then you don't hear too many other the old you know you know the people who worked at the company for longer than she did you don't hear them come across saying nothing like that you right. know if it's somebody like Mita or or Chelsea or Cat or somebody like that one of them do you remember you know um, remember I think I was doing the interview and I told you um, that you know about one time I uh, I got hit with the butt of a gun over some publishing it was really nothing you know to me. But it was uh, but the person who was registering the song when I was like, yo, you know, um, why are you registering my song like this? See, that's this where it all goes to. When it comes to the publishing, again, whoever 
whoever does the administration or had the the admin for the publishing labels it and words it and the payout usually like if, if before you would get a check the check would come to me and then i would send you a check right but i don't have to send you a check if i could say well gully i paid for your flight here i paid for your hotel there um we sent you uh fifteen hundred dollars last week ah, da, 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 da. so they're gonna come up with everything they can think of in order to not give you that check so when you have people that's in place to make sure you're not getting the money See, that's when the things turn wrong. So what we might be up against is just the whole wrongdoing of things and the whole glamorate, everything. Everything needs to be fixed. And it's just not him. It could be the people who was registering songs. It could be, um, you know, I'm sure he's not, you know, only thing he have to do is say he's not messing with you and nobody else in that company is going to mess with you. Right. And so... You know, I think that's that's something that I was just looking at because if she was there from 2016 to 2017 and he left in 2017, I'm trying to figure out how much of this story could possibly be true. So and I want to know which 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 assistant it was. You're basically saying she wasn't there long enough to be be anybody of any significance. Nah, nah if from 2016 to 2017 and then you like, all right, so... um. So you, that means your intentions may have been to come in here and purposely do what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like. It's, it's, it seemed like, again, without us, you know, having to be curious about the things that we think, let's just call a spade a spade. It seems like somebody's on his head. Yeah. No homo. Seems like it's a witch hunt right now. It's, That's it's, what I see. It's all happening. It's like a snowball effect. I didn't expect to see anything happen with um, anybody else after him because he cleaned his situation up real fast. Right. But now his companies are liable now. Yeah, I mean, as your employee, I, it was it was happening like if it was a way for artists to actually because it's like there's so many different ways to you don't have to sexually assault someone in order to be held for charges of assault. I, there's so many different ways that people assault people. There's just so many different ways. That's just one way of, an, of, of to, to, to say an assault. Um, but I kind of think that, you know, it's, it's character. You know, when I was talking about earlier today, it's about when people, um, it's more than one way to kill a person. You can kill a person physically, and you can kill them by assassinating their character. Right. It's character assassination here. A lot of that has been going on. So with, with eyes don't see, you see people living, but you, you see people living, but these people is actually people that's living that's dead. They, they, their character's been assassinated. Like, they're just walking around. And sometimes people know that. And that's something that they, they want to leave you in that low part and that lower part. You're saying he had a great run in the comments. Yeah, he had a good run. He had a good run. That's one thing I can't say. He had it. If he can pull his way out of this one, he might be able to come back off of this. But you know, every 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 dog has his day. That's what they say. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Shit rolls down. Of, uh, I only met him one time, but what type of person was Harv? He cool nigga to you? Yeah, he's super cool, 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 quiet. You know, um. Quiet, cool, um, and the, one of the, the main things, like I said, he believed in my career. And that was something that, that like, of all of the people at Bad Boy, I mean, Harv actually believed in me. And, and not only did he believe in me, we had to fight through things like being an artist plus the financial part of being an artist. You could be an artist, but if we don't have no financial, no finances in place to handle you as an artist, you just someone who's lingering around the label. So when you have that kind of artist, you'd be like, yo, you are an artist, but you're kind of lingering around. Let me figure out something that I could do to help you get on or help you put you in some placements. And that's what it, you know, that's how he was. Real cool dude, man. Right. Yeah. But I see up in here, this is this is what we need. To, this, is, this is what I think we need right here. I'm going to give you the answer of what we need. We need the people 
Like when you look at these people in these these high workplaces, high up in these offices, they've been doing this. It's part of the culture. They've been doing this to people for a long time. If you think the casting couch is something in Hollywood, that don't have nothing to do with how they how the music industry is. So it's like you could they they won't never allow you to be that millionaire or that 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 person that you you know that big person you you're destined to be if you don't give them something about your soul. So when we talk about soul, that means something that you're going to do that ain't morally right that they're going to be able to hold against you. People with money, they do that all the time. And what we need now is for people to come out and say, "Hey, you know what? He's only doing what I did to him." And you saying, what do you mean? Well, when he came in to get his deal, I put my hand on his lap. And then you'd be like, for real? You need to come, you need to come out and let people know that so we can understand what's going on in his mind. Right. Because it's a lot of sickness that's going on in the industry. I'm glad that it's coming, you know, to, to you know, for everybody to see it. But it's we still have to address it at the same time. It's like, they blackmailing people, yes, in the industry. It's just we got to figure out, you know, where did it start at? And it starts in high places like in the big office. It starts off in the head office. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it go. We just need to, to get on that. We got all of these old people that's telling young people what music is supposed to sound like and who's going to be uh, successful and who's running the radio and it's time to get rid of all of that old power and kind of like start new. They need to just clean the whole house out, man. Get rid of all of them. Every last one of them, get rid of them. And they keep hiring each other. Like this, it's a circle of them. Like they just keep hiring each other, firing each other and hiring each other because they got to keep you close to them because you know so much about them. They be like, I got to hire you. You know too much about me. I can't have you working for nobody else with me. You know everything, right? You know what I'm saying, like, is that why is that why is that why a lot of um, people that work at a company like Bad Boy they there for a long time. So when I went to the Revo convention, right? Mm -hmm. First thing I noticed when I was at Revo and shit, I was like, man, I seen these people before. Like, I felt like I knew these motherfuckers all my life. It was because. They was in all of them damn videos and shit over the years and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was the same people. The same people was around. Same people. Same you know I mean? people. The same heat. The same soup reheated. But look, um, I got a good one for you. Um, damn, I had a good one for you, Gully. It slipped on me right quick, but it'll come back to me. You understand? But yeah, um, that's just something I feel... That, that happens with those people with that money. Like they don't have, they don't have no boundaries. They don't have no respect. No, there's no telling them nothing. It's just, that's, it's just dealing with arrogant people. That's what the industry's like. Right. You know, but it's coming down. It's just the way, you know, God, God, I can't say God. Right. So uh, the higher power is um, definitely on, on, on point. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring you here and get get a little insight on the situation. Was you shocked? I would think uh, guys that got all kind of money and, you know, exotic cars and Rolexes and shit, they wouldn't be hard up on them. Yeah, what up? It's a lot of freaking yeah. shit going on here. You know, um, Gully, you know, most people go get, they go get, they'll, they'll go get a chain and they'll go get a nice car. They'll go get a nice home to just be you. They just want to be you. You know what I'm saying? This you. Right. A lot of people, that's that's all they want to do is be, be, be you. Worry about your business. You know what I'm saying? So, again, we got to start from the top tier and come all the way down. And we might just imagine how many people want to file allegations against people like the execs that's really been in those positions. See, that's what he might need to do. He he, he did the uh, wrongful uh, firing discrimination act. He might need to go do some more and, and right. tell the truth. Like it's it's easy if you just say, "Hey, man, when I came to first get my deal, um, they made me dance. Um, it was just me and the, the the executive producer in the room, and he made me dance naked." Say it after me seeing. Um, 
Bobby Shimurda, that video with him when he jumped up on the table and all that shit, that shit was like dancing naked to me. Like, that's what it looked it like. Like, it was the same type of shit. Like, this is what's required to get down. Like, I would have felt uncomfortable even doing all of that. Yeah, like, he jumped all up on the table. Yes, you did all of that. How far, how far that. it could go and shit if people willing to do some shit like that. They willing. You know, certain things I'm just not willing to do. But with these with these allegations against Harv, man, I just I wish him the best. But that girl only been working there for one year. I'm trying to figure out. It seemed like she came right in for it and went right for it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So and then listen. Y'all need to put it out there and, and put pressure on these high execs and tell them to come out and tell their story about what they've been doing to these people, man. What have they been doing to these people? You know, all if you look at all of the people these execs, they deal with and they give them deals to, all of them is going through problems. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, 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 it's after, yeah, from James Brown's story on down. <laughs> It's always been some uh, fuckery going on in the music business when it came to black artists and shit. You would think that we would uh, move to establish more independent record labels, and it, it they're around, they're around, but don't have the same same resources and shit as the the majors. Yeah, you know that's just the um, sleeping with the help, bro. You can't sleep with the help. Right. I thought that one goes, you know, but I guess she came in there in one year was like, yo, she I think it was it might have been one of her her intentions. You know, the, the way she only worked there for a year, like that. Was she fine? I we have to see her. I don't know. Did they hire her from like a model? I don't know. Did yeah. they hire her for her to really work there? Did they hire her there to sleep with her? I don't know. I wonder why it's filed uh anonymously. What you think about that? She don't want anybody to know who she is. What kind of shit is that? I don't know, cause then now we don't know who she is. Like I know I'm sitting here looking like, damn, is it is it her? No, nah, it ain't her, cause she only worked there from 2016 to 2017. So I automatically know it's somebody I totally don't know. In criminal courts, you got the right to face your accuser. I'm pretty sure people who dealing with a civil situation got similar rights. But yeah, it's been filed under a, a Jane Doe situation. So as of right now, we don't know exactly who it is. But I tell you this: by tomorrow, her identity will be online. It, but it's going to need to be in order to make that course. The internet is undefeated. They don't play no games, man. Like they got the greatest investigators, man. Internet, they gonna find who it is. I'm telling you. But I, I, Instagram, I that, Instagram man. pictures and everything by tomorrow. Watch. See who that one is. Because if they pull up one and it really has some facts in it, then that's going to really, that's going to say a lot. But if if you can't see the facts in it, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to unfortunately go. I'm going to have to throw this one under um, under the category as a uh, bamboozle uh, and this uh, foolery. Oh, we have to as of right now, as of right now, this is some Tom foolery. Yeah, it might be some, t this, until we figure out who this person, until this person comes out and says, who they are and when they work there. And, and you'd be like, you worked there for a year. So you came in as soon as you got office, as soon as you got hired and sat down in your desk, he put his hand on your butt. It's like, cause that's what you say. As soon as you, the first day you came in, he sounded like he said, good job, girl. Smacked on the butt. It just had to be like that. And it ain't nobody coming out saying nothing about that for all of the years that they worked there. Right. Except for Cassie and her. And I don't know. It's even when you're looking at things, man, I'm going to be honest, man. When you're looking at this thing that's going on with Tupac, Keefe D, man, I swear it just seemed like somebody's behind all of this, man. Maybe behind this saying, hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's make things rough for this guy right now. And that's what's happening, man. That's what I think is happening, man. They're making it rough for him. He didn't do something that he was supposed to do something else one of the things he was supposed to do was apologize to everybody that's going to be able to come back and bite him so mm. all right man i gotta get um get back online get back on my job i got something that i need to be yeah you always about stand, you always presentation on about young thugs interrogation so we about to talk about that but 
That's neither here nor there. Make sure y'all chill, tune into the Dribble Podcast, man. Uh, y'all get my latest episode. It'll be up there in about an hour or so. Yeah, and, I, and go to the link in my bio on Instagram and grab you one of them books. Get two books, put them in the stocking, because a lot of this stuff that y'all hearing about, you can read about it. I wrote about it. I wrote a story about it. All right. Appreciate you, Mark. I'm going to put the uh, information in the, in the description. I'll hit you later. Yes, sir. Peace.